Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Seriro, and I have the pleasure to have over the phone today a wonderful and very, very talented lady. Her name is Stephanie Menasse, and Stephanie has created something absolutely amazing that is called the Accessible Art Fair. It was first presented in Brussels, exactly in Brussels, the Brussels is uh, in Belgium, which is in Europe, uh, dear friends who don't know where Brussels is, and uh, our dear friend Manasseh is bringing that fantastic, fantastic art fair to New York in this month of November uh, of this year. So we have to be over the phone, Stephanie Manasseh. My dear Stephanie, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Now, it's a pleasure to have you over the phone. I want to tell you how, what a fantastic idea it is. And I know, of course, uh, the reputation of the Accessible Art Fair back in Brussels and, and all the wonderful uh, results that they got even all over Europe. So to bring it to New York, I think it had to come to New York. It belongs to New York. So thank you so much for your wonderful work. So I have a oh, question thank for you. you. My pleasure, my dear. I have a question for you, my dear. Um, why don't you tell us uh, where you're from, how you started uh, uh, your career, and what brought you to the art world, and especially what brought you to create the Accessible Art Fair? Well, um, I'm originally from Montreal, Canada, mm -hmm. and I moved to Europe about 20 years ago. Um, I first moved uh, in 97 uh, to Prague in the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. uh, where I was teaching English. Um, so right after college, I decided to pack my bags and leave for Europe. And there mm -hmm. I met my husband, and I became a sort of trailing spouse uh, because he was working for the UK um, embassy. Um, mm -hmm. And from there, we moved to Milan, uh, where he was working. And I was always very interested in the art scene. Uh, my mom is an artist, and um, I was, you know, looking around, looking at galleries, going to openings, and trying to find places for her to exhibit, but I realized that um, it's really difficult for unknown artists to get um, shows and to get gallery representation, mm. um, so I didn't get very far in, uh, in Milan. Um, and then his job brought us uh, to Brussels, and um, same thing, I was going around, um, you know, because I'm always interested in discovering the art scene in cities that I live in, in cities that I'm visiting. And, um, and there, because uh, we, we were going we, we to stay just for one year, so we had a one-year posting, um, there I started talking to artists and realizing that it's a real challenge for them. They um, generally, like artists who don't have uh, a gallery that signed them, um, they, they have nowhere to show. So I decided to put together um, a small group of nine artists that I'd met um, and uh, to launch this accessible art fair. So it was a tiny little exhibition. I put an ad in a local expat um, newspaper uh, called The Bulletin, and, um, and we got 500 people to come to this accessible art fair, this first edition, 10 years ago. Wow. And, um, yeah, and since then, you know, it's really, really gained uh, popularity and uh, credibility, and uh, and we've seen like such an evolution uh, when it comes to to the accessible art fair. You know, just to compare, now we work with 75 artists from about 30 different countries. Wow. Um, we get about 300 or 400 applications per show, and uh, and you know the quality is just you know incredible. We work with a selection committee who choose the artists. So it's really part of the Brussels art scene. You know, it's been around for 10 years. Um, actually, this year we're celebrating our 10-year anniversary. Wow. And uh, it's, it's exciting to, you know, to have launched this. Wow, congratulations. First, I want to, to congratulate you for your wonderful English because I think you're <laughs> the person who speaks the best English with the best accent, I think, in all over Belgium. So? <laughs> so, really? <laughs> yeah. I think so it's a mix of Canadian and British now. Oh, no, no, you, you, you sound absolutely um, uh, uh, wonderful. So I believe uh, this New York uh, edition was also made possible um, with your wonderful friend Maria Van Vlodrop. That's right. Maria. Yes, tell us um, about that, yes. how, how both of you 
uh, came together and and came to that idea to bring the accessible art fair to bring it to uh, to New York. Well, uh, Maria and I uh, know each other from Brussels. Actually, mm-hmm. our children uh, went to kindergarten school together, wow. <laughs> and we became friends. And uh, we had a you know nice uh, nice rapport uh, throughout those years that she spent in uh, in Brussels. And recently, she moved um, to New York. Uh, mm-hmm. for personal reasons, and I got a phone call when I was visiting Montreal last summer, and she said, why don't you come to New York and visit me, because I have something to present to you. So wow. I said, okay, and I came over, and she said to me, how about bringing the Accessible Art Fair to Brussels? Um, and she knew the fair very well, because, uh, you know, she lived in, in Brussels for a few years, mm-hmm. and um, and she had a business plan to show me, and I thought, yes, yeah, let's let's do it. Um, so wow. she created her company here called MVVO Art, and um, and one of her biggest projects is uh, working on the Accessible Art Fair. So she is my business partner uh, in in New York. Wow! Well, congratulations because both of you, it's like uh, you know the Charlie's Angels, but with only two ladies. <laughs> you know, you are absolutely uh, both of you wonderful, and and I love to see uh, two people who are passionate but also have um a well educated uh business mind you know so that's uh um that's really really uh, wonderful so tell us Maria Stefani in this accessible art fair which would be in November do you have the exact date i believe it's from the 1st to the 29th yeah that's right so the opening night the vip preview so the first view for people is on the 1st of November uh-huh. in the evening and then on the 2nd of November we're also doing an evening event and the artists will be present for the first week. So all the artists that are coming from all over the world, you know, including wow. Japan and Belgium, we have a big contingent from Belgium that are coming over because they know the fair from Brussels, they know the reputation, and they trust it. So they're coming yeah. over to participate in uh, in New York, and they're very excited about it. Um, mm-hmm. So they're going to be present for that first week. And then the fair will be open for three extra weeks. So people can come in the day and have a drink in the amazing location of the National Arts Club um, mm-hmm. and have a chance to view this fantastic building and the artwork, but the artists won't be present for those last, for those three weeks, um, that, so that, until the 29th. So, uh, that, that's also one thing that uh, I like so much about your, your fair is that the artists, you, you don't like obligate them uh, to be there, but they just want to be there and to meet the people and, and, and also especially uh, you know, for the young artists, the people that are not uh, like the masters, like, uh, you know, the, the Kooning or, you know, the, the, like the, the big guys, uh, it's also very important for them to meet uh, their audience, you know. Um, and, and I think this is also a great, great thing about the Accessible Arts Fair, which will be in uh, New York at the National Arts Club from November 1st to 29th. Um, that exactly. Can... I mean, this is the raison d'etre of the fair. You know, this is our unique selling point. This is, you know, what the Accessible Art Fair is about, and it's about meeting the artist behind the work. And for the artist, we're making the artist accessible to the public and the public accessible to the artist. That's really what it is about. Yeah, no, no, that, that's, that's very beautiful to see uh, and, and to meet the artist because sometimes you, you see a painting, you're like, oh, okay, it's nice. But then the artist, you meet the artist and you like the painting even more. And well, that's artist, it, because you get the background behind yeah, the work and the, the artist inspiration. Tells you about, yeah, and the artist tells you about uh, what's in the painting, you know, what influenced him. And then you see the, 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 the thing uh, um, a little bit differently because there's nothing like an artist explaining his own work than, you know, someone uh, uh, from a, a gallery. So, uh, okay, so we know what we're going to see. Now tell us uh, what we call the, what we call accessible art. Like what is the range of, uh, of the cost? You know, because for a lot of people, for a few people in the world, a Van Gogh is very accessible. <laughs> yes. So well, we try, to know, we try not accessible? to accessible. Well, like I said, for us, accessible means that we're making the artist accessible to the public and the public accessible to the art. We don't talk about pricing. Now, these artists, most of them are not in galleries, so they wouldn't really show artwork that is more, more uh, that is higher priced than twenty thousand uh-huh. um, dollars. But the the prices really vary on the artist's experience and 
um, uh, you know, what they've achieved to date and how much they've sold. So, um, so the, the prices are not really advertised before the fair, and at the fair, um, they will be, um, the prices will be displayed next to the artwork. But yeah. accessible doesn't mean cheap. It just means that we are making these artists accessible to the public. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, and, and you have also, I wanted to say, like a really, really good team. Like you choose some very, very great uh, curators and uh, uh, you have great contributor. Uh, I see the woman, Jessica Pandiri, is from the Clarion List. So you oh, really have, absolutely. yeah, we, we have yeah, people that are list. supporting us and we're very fortunate to work with um, such experienced people from the art world. Um, our jury included, you know, the jury that went through um, these 300 applications that we got to the fair include wow. people like uh, people from Christie's and Sotheby's and wow. Joyce Barbados, who's a big um, art collector and art dealer, um, and um, and people from like Collectria. And I'm working also because I'm chief curator at the at the show in New York, and I'm yeah. working with a co-curator called Isaac um, Aiden. And he's helping me with the uh, curation of the space to make sure that it looks really top notch. Mm -hmm. So I, I have to say we're really uh, fortunate to have such great backing from yeah. from these important people well, in the art world. I always say I always say with great people comes great people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. So you're you're, you're a phenomenal um, a woman, and uh, you Thank only you. around you there will only be. Uh, phenomenal uh, people, and I also want to note the, the great sponsor that you have, Brussels Airlines, which is a oh, yes. airline company. Uh, New House, do you say New House, the chocolates, or New yeah. House? I forgot. New House, yeah. New House, New House. New house. So it's not, it, it is not the New House, okay? You're not going to get a New House. It's the no, you're going to get great chocolates. <laughs> yeah, and, and actually, I, I, I must tell you, because I, I had the privilege to be at the at the press event, which was which was hosted by Artnet, huge fan of Artnet, they are really yes. the best is around, and and you guys very gratefully gave us uh, some chocolate, and they are really really good. So oh, they're uh, top notch, top notch <laughs> Belgian chocolates, and we're very you know we're very fortunate to be working with these uh, fantastic Belgian brands who mm -hmm. see this fair as a Belgian fair because it was born in Belgium, so yeah. it's an extension of Belgium in in New York. And that's yeah, what, yeah. Absolutely. That, yeah, and I think that's a nice little touch to, to the fair. We have a um, petit clin d'oeil, as we say in French. Yeah, yeah that, absolutely. That absolutely. Is because we, we both speak in French, so, but for, for, yeah. for the sake of uh, our dear friends, our uh, iTunes radio and for the iTunes for the podcast, we, we decided to conduct that interview in, in, uh, in English. So, yes. uh, my dear Stephanie, I wanted to thank you so much for taking some time. I know how busy you are now. Oh, thank you. Thanks the, very much for having me. No, it is a pleasure. And uh, uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we had the fantastic uh, Stephanie Menasse, uh, which uh, is the founder of the Accessible Arts Fair, uh, which would take place at the National Arts Club in New York City uh, in November, between November 1st to the 29th. I suggest you guys to go during the first week because that's when you will be able to uh, meet the artist. We say also um, a big hello to our dear friend Maria Van Blodrop, who is the co-founder of uh, the Accessible Art Fair, the New York edition. Uh, Mania Stephanie, is there anything that we didn't mention that you would like to add? No, I just want to say, you know, come and discover this fantastic fair and meet the artists behind the work, because we really believe that meeting the artist makes all the difference. Absolutely. I agree with you. Totally agree with you. My dear Stephanie, the doors of this show are open to you 24-7. Thank you so much for taking Thank some you. time once again. It was David Storiro on the Culture News, and I had the pleasure to have Stephanie Menasse from the Accessible Art Fair in New York from November 1st to the 29th. Please go to see this fantastic, fantastic art fair, and we will talk again uh, about this great show uh, very soon on iTunes Radio. Thank you so much, Stephanie. You Thank take you. Care. Thank you very much. Bye.